In this makeup tutorial, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Cherry Palette to create this look. But a lot of these shades are very universal, so even if you don't have the palette, you can still recreate this. So let's get started. I've already started by priming my eyelids with a little bit of eyeshadow primer and concealer. The first shade that we're going to be using is a matte, soft, dusty rose shade. This is going to work as our transition or mid-tone. We're going to be blending this over and back into the crease of the eye and slightly higher. But you really want to slowly build up the intensity of this look. So apply a little bit at a time. The brush that I'm using is by Blank Chemist Cosmetics and it is the Duo Fiber Eyeshadow Blending Brush from the Marble Brush Set. Once you feel like you have a good blend, we can move on to the next shadow. The next shadow that we're going to use is a soft peachy warm tone and this is also matte. We're going to apply a very small amount of this just in the crease of the eye to help fade out the blend that we've already done. By combining the two shadows, you just get a more pro finish blend. Taking this deep metallic burgundy shade, we're going to apply this with a slightly smaller brush and stamp this on the outer third of the lid. I really want to make sure to concentrate this to the outer third, so I like to start off by just stamping it on, and then I can blend it after I feel like I have it in the right area. The next shade that we're going to apply is this metallic rose copper shade, and we're going to apply that with a flat brush. If you want your metallic shades to look really glossy, make sure you're using a flat brush to apply them. We're applying this all over the lid, so the inner two thirds, and then stopping where we've already applied that deep burgundy shade. And now for a magic trick. No peeking. And lashes are on. It's not really a magic trick, I just cut out me applying lashes. For underneath the eye, I'm gonna use that flat brush that we already used and apply that matte shade, working right underneath those lashes on the outer two thirds. To highlight underneath the brows, I'm taking the Pale Ivory Matte Tone and I'm just applying that with an angled brush. This brush also comes in the Marble Brush Set along with the other brushes that I've already used. The next shade we're going to apply is this Pale Metallic Rose Shimmer. We're going to apply this on the inner corner and I like to look in the opposite direction so I can get really close to that inner edge. Mascara is next and my friend Chloe stocks this on Instagram. It is one of the best mascaras I've ever used. I'm almost running out. For my lips, I'm going to start off with this Soap and Glory Lip Plumper. Since I had to have some of my lip removed, I'm a little self-conscious about the shaping of my lips and this just gives me a little bit more confidence. So I'm going to leave that work and go back onto the face. Washing down my blush brush, I'm going to take that first shade that we applied and apply this as blush. This is just going to bring the entire look together. It also means you don't have to go rooting around trying to find the correct blush. Now that my lips are a little smoother and a little bit fuller, I'm going to start off by the Luna by Lisa Lip Liner. This is in Coco Shell. And then apply the matching lipstick over the top, which apparently made me very, very happy. I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you recreate it, definitely let me know. So many of you have been requesting pinky rosy tones, so I hope this helps you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe, and you can check out the other videos on the screen, and I'll see you in the next one.